Hey everyone and welcome back to Prefusion. I am Anish and today I am back with a interesting question. So someone sent me this question in, on LinkedIn. So if you have any question, interesting question which you are not able to solve, you can also send me on LinkedIn. You can also follow me on LinkedIn here. So uh, this question was uh, sent by someone who was working in a company. So here, right, they have asked us to find the voltage across the 2 kilo ohm register. That is this register. Assume that your W by L, that the width to length ratio for the given MOSFET is very large and your VTH is 1 volt. They haven't given us, just hold on a second, they haven't given us any other information. They have just given this information. Right. So how to solve these type of questions? So here, right, everything is unknown to us. So how to start? So just start with assuming few voltages and nodes. So they have asked us to find this VO, right? Uh, uh, for me to find this VO, I need to find this current. For me to find this current, I need to find the current of the MOSFET as well as the current through here. Okay, all these things are important. So first of all, what I will do, uh, I know the potentials of all the nodes, but except this node, right? This node potential I will assume here as V. Okay, now what do I notice? This is a MOSFET, right? If this is a MOSFET, then the current through the gate terminal will be zero. So current through this is zero. So these two are in series. So if I just draw the equivalent circuit of these part, how will it look? So I'll just draw the equivalent circuit of this part. This will be one kilo ohm, one kilo ohm. This is V and this is V naught, right? This is V naught and this is V and between V and V naught, there is one, one kilo ohm connected. Now, why am I writing it like this? Because I want to find this VGS, right? I want to find this VGS and obviously I am assuming, I am assuming that MOSFET is in saturation. Okay. I'm assuming that MOSFET is in saturation. Uh, after solving everything, I will just check whether it is satisfying the condition, uh, to be in saturation. If it is, if it isn't, then I have to back calculate again. Right. So for now I'm, I'm assuming that MOSFET is in saturation. Why is that the case? I'm assuming that this potential is very, uh, this potential is very low and this potential is very high and it will be somewhat higher than the threshold voltage. I don't know about VDS. I, I want to compute though. So I will assume that MOSFET is in saturation. So that is my first uh, assumption that m MOSFET is in saturation. Okay. Now, uh, what I'm interested, I'm interested in the gate voltage at VG because VG minus VO will be the VGS. So what is VG? If you are very good at circuits, you will be able to write this expression in one second, right? In one second. What will be this expression? This, right? This will be simply half of this voltage right basically half of the voltage difference this is one kilo ohm this is one kilo ohm so you can directly write this as v minus vo v minus vo divided by two not your vg actually your vgs this potential right this potential will get divided between these two so the potential difference across these two registers v minus vo and each of these registers will uh, have a potential of V minus VO by 2 as the resistance are equal. So this potential will be V minus VO by 2 and this potential will also be V minus VO by 2 assuming that V is on the higher potential and VO is on the lower potential. VO by 2. Okay. So I can write it like this. Right. So what is my VGS? My VGS is my VGS is V minus VO by 2. Now let's come to ID. A VGS is V minus VO by 2. And what is the expression for ID if it is in saturation? ID will be equals to mu n COX mu n COX by 2 into W by 2 into VGS minus VT whole square. So what is my VGS? VGS is this. So it is V minus VO by 2 minus 1 that is VT whole square okay what information have they given me they have given me that W by L is very high now one thing I know is that ID is ID will be some finite value right ID will be some finite value now if I divide by W by L what will happen is that if I divide by W by L like if I divide this whole thing okay by ID uh, from ID this will be ID divided by 
म्यू वन सी ओ एक्स बाई टू इन टू डब्ल्यू बाई इक्वल्स टू वी जी एस दैट इज वी माइनस वी ओ बाई टू माइनस वन होल स्क्वायर नाउ इन द क्वेश्चन दे हैव गिवन मी द डब्ल्यू बाई एल इज टेंडिंग टूवर्ड्स इन्फिनिटी दैट इज वेरी हाई If this is finite and this is tending towards infinity, this whole thing will go to zero. Okay. Now don't ask me about the practicality, but according to the question, theoretically this is very high. So if theoretically this is very high, this will tend to zero. Now if this is tending to zero, this will be v minus v o by two minus one whole square equal to zero, or this is simply equals to zero. So if this simply equals to zero, so by v v will be simply equals to one uh, two. V O plus two. Okay, V will be simply equals to V O plus two. Now, is there any other equation? There is other equation, right? What is the other equation? Other equation is this, right? That if some current I is flowing through here, okay, that same current I will flow through here, right? I don't care about this MOSFET current, and I, I don't care about this current. So whatever current is getting distributed, that current will again meet up here, right? There is no other. Other way, so this I current and this I current are same. So what can I write? I can write it like this: that my five minus v. This potential I have assumed as v, right? This potential I have assumed as v divided by one. Uh, what was this? This was one kilo, right? Is equals to v o by two two kilo basically. So this will be v o will be equals to ten minus two v. Okay, so I know v is equals to v o plus two, so I will replace my v as v o plus two. So this will be v o will be equals to ten minus two times v o plus two. So this will be three v o will be equals to minus four, that is six. So v o will be equals to simply two volts. Okay, v o will be equals to simply two volts. So this will be your answer. This will be your answer. Now let's cross check if we assume that uh, the MOSFET is in saturation, whether it is really in saturation. Okay, so how to cross check? So what is my VGS? My VGS was V minus V O by two. V minus V O by two. If you remember correctly. So what is my uh, V? V is equals to simply two uh, plus two. That is four. Four volts. So it is equals to one volts. So, like for it to be saturation, VGS needs to be greater than equals to VTH, right? It should be greater than equals to VTH. So it is on the edge of saturation. It is on the edge of saturation. Just, just at the edge of saturation. What about my VDS? Okay, whether this is in linear or active. So, what about my VDS? What is my VDS? VDS is, if you observe it carefully, this is the drain and this is the source. VDS is V minus V O. V D S is V minus V O, and this is equals to what? This is simply equals to uh, V is uh, V is again four, and V O is again two. It is two volts, right? And what we know for it to be in saturation, or V D S needs to be greater than equals to V G S minus V T. Okay, so basically our drain voltage needs to be one threshold higher than the gate voltage. So, in this case, our VDS is greater than equals to what is VGS? VGS was almost VGS was one, right? One minus one. So this is greater than equals to zero, which is true, right? Because our VDS is two, VDS is two, and it is telling that VDS should has to be greater than equals to zero. Now I, I might uh, like I, I will understand your queries that. This is almost equals to zero. How is this possible? That basically your uh, VGS is almost equals to VTH. Then how is it in saturation? This question at first place is bit impractical, right? Here W L is going to infinity. Due to this, this is happening. Okay, so we'll assume that this is on the edge of the saturation and the MOSFET is on. It is in saturation and it is basically uh, the answer will be basically two. Okay, our output voltage will be two. So. Yeah, if you have any other doubts, you can put it in the comments below. If you like the video, do hit the like button and do subscribe to my channel. I will bring more interesting questions like this. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.